here's the original kit that I put in a box of it, of course. And uh, everything I saved is slightly used and some brand new parts. Yeah, okay. These come in the kit. To look and see where they go. But I saved the old ones. Bunch of little miscellaneous uh, connect holders and stuff. Old uh, C rings and stuff. Gaskets. Little ring gasket type things. And the originals. See, those did not come off so easy. They were black originally, I think. And they, they came apart coming off original base gasket. There's the uh, accelerator pump diaphragm. The old one. <coughs> yeah, now here's a gasket with that too to the front. Oh, that's the old fuel transfer tube. <coughs> I'll put that gasket on it. I don't think I would be using it, but well, you know, it looks like the tube itself would be fine if you had some new gasoline-resistant O-rings. But those O-rings I know are no good. They probably leaked for I don't know how many years. That one's hard. Is that another, like a double O-ring? You know what? That's a big wide O-ring, so one of those I changed. Oh, that one broke when I put it on there. pretty dry but uh, you could probably find some more rings you know like just get some like get five or ten of them but since how they said all over that they had redesigned it and these new ones work better I decided I believed them because I had seen it leaking before and stopped it before I'm out of put O-rings in it years ago I don't remember now here's my other gaskets. I don't know what that goes to. This, uh, this one might go there. I think it's for a slightly different. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I, I already looked at that when I had it off. It, yeah, because the ring, the one that's on there, is not closed in like that. And so then these are some interior gaskets and stuff. That one I think goes under the plate, but there is some extra gaskets that come in them different for different, slightly different models. But I just always save everything that's ever might halfway be usable because you don't ever know when you might get broke on the side of the road or broke without any money at home and have to try to make something work. Plus, you got the numbers; you don't have to figure all that out again. Oh, this is my. Shipping receipt, I think. Pack and slip, yeah. I'll just see the part number. Let's see it. Should be a part number on the box for this. If it's on there, I don't see it. But, uh, no part number on the box. Well, I have the part number from my, I looked up my original, you know, all my saves. Links and everything. Receipts. All kinds of things. So I had the number. It's a weird number. Oh, there's the part number. Yeah, 37720. It looks, that sounds exactly like what I saw over there. Online. The one that, but your carburetor number, it's a mystery to find, I'll tell you. I forgot where the numbers are, but uh, 
I don't know if they're on the bowl or somewhere on the case. There's a list of numbers and you gotta know which one to, which ones apply to you. I think they might be right here on the bowl. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of numbers. And you have to figure out, I forgot, it's a real complicated process figuring out which, where is it, which of these numbers, at, you know, are the one that identifies your carburetor. It says a USA on here. It's old enough it was actually made in the USA. How about that? Good old American aluminum, or at least, at least Canadian, 1992, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, they say Canadian steel. Oh, there's that number. This is the number you go by. I thought that seemed a little odd because the bowl comes off. List so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so. I can't show it on here, really. Mine is... List dash nine eight three four dash two dash twenty five hundred. I think the nine eight three four is the actual number they go by because that's what I had in or something like that. That's got to be it uh, in my links that got me to the kit right away when I went to the Holly website. So uh, my shade's going away. I think I'm fixing to be sunny right here. It keeps moving around. A little bit of shade down there, but not much. Okay. Uh, now, what am I doing? Let's see. Oh yeah, I was thinking about taking this gasket off. I've got some two befores laying on my cardboard to kind of keep it from blowing, blowing up if the wind picked up. Let's see. Oh, I can't. Can't put that carburetor down where there's nothing. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's still, still something there. Okay, that's gonna need to be cleaned. <sighs> yeah, there's a hole in the door underneath that cardboard. Yeah, I want to see what's in there. I think I can get that off of here. Pinch myself. Yeah, it came up okay. It was just kind of stuck a little bit. And I can clean that off. Well, I mean, I don't may not need to. Okay, now look at all those holes in there. Those all go somewhere. All those holes. All these holes all go somewhere. A lot of dust on those screws. I'll try and blow them off before I... A lot of dust on those other screws. Oh, let's just put them all in there. Close it up for now. Clean them up later.
That stuff draws away fast. Clean and clear. Only one I can tell goes through. Some of them seem like they come back. Yeah, that goes. Actually through the jet. Into the carburetor. Let me go get it. So. Yeah, these ones here, it's really difficult to tell. Let me get it turn it off. It's really difficult to tell. Turn around where I can kind of show what I'm talking about here. Uh, which ones are blowing through? Especially for so many, I can't remember, but some of them were obviously blow through. I heard air coming up the other side. Some of them whistled. I'd have heard that. So that might just mean it's coming back out, or it could mean it's going through in a, in a way, you know, changing the shape and direction of the hole in the way that it makes a whistle. And then some of these, of course some of them are screw holes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them are screw holes. Those bigger ones there go through to, right straight to the jets. And so this is on there like that. So it's, uh, comes, gas comes in through the bottom there and up here and then through these channels and up through those. Right there and right there looks like. Oh, it's got pinholes. Okay, so those two aren't supposed to. Like that. Okay. Yeah, there's the other. 
there's the uh, screw holes right there. So, uh, right there and right there is where those passageways are. And I guess it's these tops. I don't know if you can. These top. These are the. This will be the top if it's flipped around back. All these others, you know. I mean, some of them may just be for air. They may not be for gas. Because carburetors work on the vacuum, you know. It's very integral to how they work. I mean, I don't understand every bit of it. Never have. I used to probably remember more about how they worked than I do now. I know I did. But, uh. uh I'm not gonna take more of it apart. Matter of fact, I may put this back on here just to keep the dirt out of it until I get my parts. You know, I was sitting here toying with the idea of putting it back together. But it's $29, $29 for the kit. So after all this work, I've already put it back together once with, you know, put the front, took the bowl off. And that didn't take too long. It wasn't a bunch of work. But the work of figuring out what was wrong took, of course, it's several days of me noticing problems, you know, and then finally figuring it out. And that's all that needs to come off. I want to put this back on here quite a bit more. Okay, <coughs> put some. <coughs> Either I don't like the looks of that. I could make me a gasket out of that gasket material I have. I probably didn't because I didn't want to spend more time. I remember it took me several days to rebuild this last time, and that's all I was doing. So, but it's getting hot, so it's probably I don't know what time it is right now. I don't have something to look at. But it's probably about time for me to quit just so I can uh, get ready for bed in time to go to the... I may not work on... Well, I'm, I'm not going to work on it tomorrow. I'm so tired today and so sore and holding my neck up. It hurts so bad. Under the truck the other day. Yesterday's when it hit me the day after last night. Oh, it's killing me. I had to take muscle... Uh, I take these natural muscle relaxers. I don't take any regular drugs like that. I have to take too many prescription drugs. I hate it. Anyway, I took two of those last night. I took one went to bed and woke up hurting again and took another one. Otherwise, I wouldn't have slept. If I don't, I don't sleep. I'm hurting. So, probably could get away with it, but I already tried getting away with it the way it was. Well, I knew better than that. I really did. But I did it anyway. I kind of was hoping, you know, all that junk I put in the tank will clean it out. I just wanted to get it to where it was inspected and ready to, you know, drive a bull, but heck, you don't want it. Well, it wasn't even drivable, so. I always used to try to do everything the best I could. Because I learned when I was first, my first couple of cars, you know, I'd buy used parts at the junkyard and replace them five times. And then still, you know, they'd break every time or something would be wrong with it when I got it. So finally, learned, I just got to where I, every, unless I have to, I buy new parts. And unless I got some real good reason, I go ahead and do it now rather than part with it forever. You know, like, like uh, put the kit on this or whatever. So, uh, I just uh, thought I might, uh, since I hadn't been working in two years, and I was, you know, I knew I wouldn't want to, it's going to be hard, I just thought I'd try to do the easy way, and it turned out to be the hard way. Let's see. I didn't really get all the gunk out of there at all. Well, I'm just going to... It's hot right now, so sun's shining on everything again now. I don't think it'll get worse, better for quite a while now. I think it's going to get bad, the sun wise. So, I think I'll pick everything up. I'll put blow the dust off of this. Pick everything up. Put that, just put that back on there just to keep it from getting filthy. And, uh, Get dirt in it, something really bad that'll clog it up, you know. And that side, I think, is okay. I'll, I'm, I could put the balls on it, but I think I'll just. We'll see. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to turn on the air compressor again and do that.
drink. tools out of the sun so before they get the hell can't touch them. There's a little more shade down there at that end now, so we'll go down there. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't blow these screws off really. I always hated how hard it was to get these open. Dang. Probably be just as well to wipe them off. I think I'll put the big ones back in the bucket. I don't think I'll put the bowls over there. Maybe. Still sitting here debating about it. Uh, I'm not going to put the jet. Yeah, if I don't put the bowls in, I don't need the jets. I mean, if they're going to get new jets, I don't need these jets. Just wipe that extra dust off of them from the bad gas. Yeah. They need to kind of be soaked in something that would knock that stuff loose. That carburetor cleaner kind of breaks it, but not completely. Okay. If I get too close, I'll just be missing everything. So. Yeah, okay. So this goes like this. Then it sits in here in the right place. Yeah, there we go. I think that was loose enough to cause trouble, really. Soonly, very soonly, if not already. I probably need to get either get some screws that I can drive with something I got, or get something to drive these weird screws with. I, I'm sure I only reused them because I didn't have any choice. These are an odd thread, though. They're machine thread. They probably are American, so I could probably get them if I knew what thread they were. I mean, I just, you know, just a tapered counter, it's a countersink in there, tapered head, was it Phillips would be good, or Allen head, yeah, you can't get that real tight, I mean, now it's tighter than it was the first time, but I bust that screwdriver trying to tighten that up, I suppose I could try and make a tool, take an old broken screwdriver, Around the end till it fits that. I'll probably do that without a world of trouble. Now, see, now all those tiny holes are covered up. So I'm not, you know, it's not that. I don't think it'll be that much crap in the garage, hopefully. Unless I started doing something else and blew dust everywhere or something. But those are big enough holes. And I can blow back either way and get to the jets to blow back this way. That one was the one that really was causing me trouble. It's the one that had the gasket sealer in it. That was the one that made... I'm sure that's the, the idle. Goes to the idle jet, I guess. Or jets, or whatever. Yeah, there's two of them. That's got to do with it, evidently. Because that's when it... You know, it started dying at idling. It was not doing it. First, four, first week. 
He started it yesterday, day before yesterday, I think, when I decided to drive it. Thought I was ready to go drive it and go get it inspected if it drove good. <sighs> so, now those are. I don't know if those are loose or tied or what. Let's see. I'm going to take them off right now, but pretty loose. Everything on it's loose. Look at that. Huh. So, you would think it would be engineered to work with stay. I've got a big, I've got a bigger screwdriver I can get them tighter with. There's another jet right there. I wonder if that's like the, maybe there's only one idle jet and that's it. And, you know, there's two adjusting screws for each. I never have quite understood all that. There's jets here and here, and those are the main jets. I could figure that much out. And I remember some of the older carburetors, they might have had a jet off to the side up in the... These are the Venturis, I remember that. Up in the side of the Venturis. I can see in there. Let's see if there's anything in them. Well, that's a jet for sure. He can blow air through that or not. It's pretty tight. Let's see if there's one last. I'll start it up in half because I just want to see if I'm going to go through it. Can't tell. right in the middle of that too. I don't know what that's doing. Right in there. Can't tell what I'm showing. Right in there. <laughs> 